of zero percent interest rates, huh? I like to think that it never worked. It I continues to work. Think it's very funny to watch which businesses succeed and fail in a high interest rate environment, even though I would prefer for us to go back to a low interest rate environment. Yeah, I, I feel kind of the same way, unfortunately. I do I think, think low interest rate environments enough. probably exacerbate inequality, but unemployment <sighs> exacerbates inequality even worse. Well, here's my take, right? Are you, and this is Steve versus Zeddy Mexico, the winner of this will make it into pools. This should be a pretty solid battle. I would give the edge to Eddie historically, but Steve looks great today. Yeah, and regardless Sorry, what was of who I saying? wins, it certainly isn't going to update Jerome Powell's expectations for future quarters. Well, I think it does have to do with jobs. I mean, if they're worried about the labor market. So here's my question. Are you a Thomas Piketty guy? And if you are, how does that influence how you think about like, high interest rates? I thought it was pronounced Piketty. Is it Piketty? I, you know, this is my problem with reading. I don't ever you might be right. To people. He's French. I don't know. So I don't know how that changes it. Uh, no, is he I think, French? I think he was wrong. I think he didn't account for. Uh, he, literally, if you just separate out, if you redefine capital as separating like land and investments, his. Oh, you're the you he, he messed up on the land rate. So, so, so he literally did. It yeah. was that. If you make more money off investments than you do off wage growth, that's going to exacerbate inequality, and you're going to have an issue. Yeah. So in high interest rates, you have a situation where maybe the labor market's getting crushed. Yeah. But if you're investing, you get a lot, right? Yeah, but if you separate out one type of, you know, quote unquote capital, which is housing, which is mostly land values, has the entire effect of, of, of ours uh, or whatever is greater than G just disappears. Um, so still means his research is valid. It's just like, yeah, it seems like uh, that's a big problem. The land part. IBDW, he's, he's suffering from it. Yeah, he's gonna go to Michigan, right? Yeah, I don't know if that's suffering though. Michigan is cool. Michigan, I'm a fan. I mean, I, I think it's fine to just go to a lower cost of living place. I think that's that's totally yeah. right. I think maybe New York should try to be a little. Oh, New York is tough. I think for a lot of reasons. What was I gonna say? Yeah, I mean, so like if you go back to the '80s, right? Like, what do you think was a bigger exacerbation of inequality? Interest rates at 15, or just like labor rights getting destroyed, capital getting to do whatever, you know? Really good question. That's enough of an empirical question that I don't like have really a take because you can't oh, answer yeah, it. I mean, but um, it's the honestly, funny thing to have a take about, right? Honestly, I bet fifteen percent interest rates. <laughs> I'm a, well, fifteen was fifteen was the point of that is that we needed fifteen or that inflation was going to like hurt everyone even worse. I guess. Yeah, like, I you love could, Lemon Volker. You could argue the fifteen, right? But, like, can you really argue like it was cool to just kind of let milk and do whatever, or, like you know, units get crushed or that sort of thing? No, that wasn't good either, but if you have to pick which one is worse. Um, in general, I think unemployment is a really huge way to give uh, uh, like capital owners power, right? If, if yeah. everybody oh, yeah. has choices between their jobs, even if you have the worst boss, if you can just quit and not be worried about finding a new job, that's, then that is also a form of power if you don't have a union. And, most and I think people didn't. are a lot more like, they understand this a little bit better when they talk about like, well, the labor market's got to be weaker for inflation to stop because inflation's bad but like the answer seems to always be take my job away yeah you know but back to the match i think um i think this is all pretty relevant i always like to see whether Steve this is, is gonna one go guy in the chat that we are tender. torturing <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Eddie Mexico losing game one, Steach winning game one. I'm just protesting, talking about Eddie losing. Now that uh, that's happened, all my decisions were correct today. Yeah, Chad is going through it. We got we got Eddie losing a game. We got us talking about God knows what. What I was gonna say is that it's kind of funny watching like Fox get a full dash shine on Luigi because Luigi has really high traction. Combos are hard. But if you have a reputation for being absurdly technical and you think that you need to maximize everything off Eddie, like, do you go for it? Do you go for the forbidden punish? I think so. I think you go out there, you eat the... I think you side B into his side B. Yeah. You do all the stuff. All the stuff that they taught you not to do in, uh, in Fox School. They said you could do this and it would be cool, but you shouldn't. Like, can you shine side B Eddie? Like, is that a thing I mean, or is Eddie just going to... doing that at Evo, like, 2016. Well, that's my point. I mean, is there counterplay or is it just, like... It's just not in the tool shed for a lot of people. And they're like, why would I do that? I'm winning neutral, but look at this! It's a hard chain grab. The Europeans call it the... the Yaw Ride. Or Yaw Ride. 
Come I get on, hit Jack. by uh, That's a, a lot of down Bs. Yeah, I've never figured out the mystery to just making that bad. All the other foxes I talked to were like, yeah, that's a bad move. Not to me. Maybe to I, I usually I need to get hit by it one or two times before my brain wakes up into like eldritch knowledge of how to defeat it. React. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, for sure. But the chill and do yeah. theory is just like, you can just full hop at certain spots against yeah. Luigi that just, they don't have answers. Full hop rock. This game is... This game is more complicated than that. That is something that uh, Greg Turbo taught me. He was like, you got to just full hop more because all these mid and low tiers, they yeah. don't beat falling up there a lot of the time. Like They're actually pretty good against short hop nair a lot of the time. But they're not. You see it just going for beat the nair, beat the drift, get the up air. But now it's Yahoo! <laughs> Triple up smash. Let's go, baby. A uh, fun fact about Eddie is that Eddie is building his own house. But where is the house? The house in like Tijuana. Oh, cool. Yeah. No rules. He's building I'm the house right here it. on this box. But his bones. He's building a brick house. Do you want to do a little esports commentary? Yeah. A moment. And the plumber. What's your best impression of like east of of what you consider to be esports commentary? John Madden. Okay. I don't. I, you know, this is my problem. I don't listen to a lot of esports stuff, and like all the esports stuff I listen to, and I it's gonna be Fox on the goal. ledge. Is he gonna be able to make it happen? It's a it's tough gonna be a back thing air. to make it back from all the way here. But Eddie Mexico going for the side B, and there it is, a back air from Steech. Very nice, Chroma. What do you think? Analyze that stock for me. You know, I think that Steech pushed the initiative, uh, force disadvantage state quite a few times. But Eddie certainly has enough resources to win this game, as we've seen many times in the past. Oh, oh and it knocks down. He's it doesn't knock down. On the mere floor. He's doing the splits on him. Oh, he's cycloning to him. And then I cyclone. It's looking like it's going to be a storm for Steach here, but it's another up tilt going nowhere. Up smash, yeah, my... down air. I think I'm giving myself heartburn doing this. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is it's like the biggest killer in the States. You know, you've got cars, you've got guns, you've got cancer, you've got heart disease. Is um, it still hard? Shout outs to hearts. You know, good for that, because that's a hard crown to take. Yeah. Eddie trying to be the biggest killer of foxes in the States this year. And that's how you do esports commentary. I do think it's funny and very sociopathic to to immediately switch from talking like that to normal mode. Which oh, yeah. I, I do see a lot in like traditional esports is like they'll go into turbo mode and then they just turn it off. Yeah, it's it's truly like they're running aggressive bits at each other all the time. Yeah. Eddie Mexico. Eddie Flex. One. One. I always so believe fact, in Eddie. I don't know what's going on. No, I always believe in Eddie, but I also always believe in Steech because both of these gamers, and this is what people don't understand, mm -hmm. they can lift a lot of weight. They hit the gym. <laughs> they are actually. I've heard both. Steech is the most normal melee player. No, yeah, it's kind of fucked up, and it and it's upsetting. But like Steech is just like valedictorian of his high school, like, uh, oh. just goes to the gym a bunch. It is huge. Um, it was not always that way, and it's just kind of, you know, yeah. developed these things, and Eddie is just like a normal human that everybody likes, goes to the gym, and is working yeah. on his house. And yeah, this is just like a dude's rock, sort of a, a part of the bracket. Do you mind if I talk about something I saw in chat that I'd like to hear your take on? Yeah, sure, yeah. I saw something in the chat saying, anyone playing top tiers, ZZZZ. How do you feel about this genre of thought? I think it's dumb. I think I think I get the instinct, and I don't mean to blow up anybody for feeling this sort of thing, right? Especially naming names wiping Eddie off the stage. But I think I think there's a lot more to melee than just like top tier does easy option and wins. And mm, I think there's some characters that are kind of like that, but I I've honestly like I'm someone who complains about a lot of characters, right? Ooh. I don't think I've ever yeah. felt that way in melee outside of like Sheik versus Bowser. I think if it was so miserable, the game wouldn't have lasted this long. Look at Steve just going nuts though. Yeah, I guess I've, I've never felt like it's it's just so blatantly unfair that I'm like, an injustice was done here on the game. Damn. You might just be too too deep into it to, to like things again, and I, I respect that. Saying he's been going to tournaments since 2004. First of all, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. You will thank not you be service. part of the Chroma's draft to for the military. No, probably not. Right. Oh wait, there's one. Uh, my kind of thing about these Georgia Skype guys, um, or the I'm not answering that guy. I told, I'm already in the guy. chat. I said, DM me after the game, I'll blow your mind. I love the, the implication that you're an MMT guy is probably enough to just like cause 
fits of rage for you. Yeah, for I am game. not MMT. <laughs> Solid three stock, but I believe in Eddie. You see, that's funny because I, while I do agree that like the top tiers are good in melee, I can just dishonestly say Yoshi is winning majors now, thus I win. Yeah, I think and that's I the think evil every, part I of think this we've been thing. playing the game long enough where we've seen a shit ton of characters win, and the CSS screen is accessible to all. Like, well, there there is that. It's true and it's not true, right? Like, I I'm like I can I'm probably never picking up Puff, for example, right? And maybe that's a weakness of of us as Smashers, right? It We're is very very character locked. Yeah. Compared to well, most other scenes. Well, it just means scenes. that like you're. If you're gonna complain about a puff winning, you gotta, you know, even Steven did. No, I don't, yeah. I hear you. It's but, like, what we've actually seen over the last three years, which is, which is interesting as online play has proliferated, the mid tiers are doing better. Yep. They're rising up. Yeah. And, like, those mid highs are doing pretty well. And Icy's. I think if, I think if your character good. is able to get, like, a healthy openings per kill. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be okay. You could make a run. Like you're gonna be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like and, if there's and making the a run and there's being fine. I will. I will admit. Like it's easier to make a run than be fine, right? Sure. Like Mario can make a run. Is Mario fine? I don't, I don't really. Know. No. We were talking about this a lot. What was our discussion? Mario versus DK. I've I, I I've I've now been so thoroughly debunked. Oh, Mario versus DK. Yeah, I was Mario pilled for a bit, but I thought Mario. No, was I just think DK is so much better of a character. I do think which DK is, now is more fun, say, right? and that super influences uh, how much he's played. Uh, I think Mario is not considered very fun for most people. Yeah, I think, but I think like, do people like DK better than Mario? I think it depends. Like, like Mario chain grabs me as a fox, which is unfair because like my character is better than them. But like, enjoyment versus the character, I think it's both fine. Both of their punish games are really weird against me, and so it's kind of a, it's kind of a wash, I guess, in that respect. Ooh, Eddie's looking very solid this game. Just great, yeah, I, playing well. Each... <laughs> so this is this is the dilemma. There's an underdog character, but you know, let's say like pick your least favorite one. Would you root for your least favorite underdog character against like a top tier? Yeah. Would you really root for Kirby against yeah, Luigi? Because. <laughs> This is, nobody's well actually I would I don't like Luigi. Would you root for Kirby versus DK? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> we got Walt in chat after someone said uh, Mario's the most unfun character in the game. Uh, just a heads up, I believe we're gonna be starting top eight on a, a separate stream uh, pretty soon. Because we're gonna have probably a couple more qualifiers here, we're not really sure. But um, you know, when they start top eight, please take a look out for that. That will be with Walt and Radar. And yeah. ask Radar what his favorite fruit is and why it's a lime. You can't. You can't just keep throwing them under the bus. Radar is is the master of just like wild hot takes on Twitter that really are very innocuous. Yeah, or I think that's the best thing. Right I think it's best to get very heated about um, things innocuous that don't matter. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because like you all know it's innocuous. Like you know, so you're just kind of having an okay time out there. Yeah. Jack, who do you think wins? In what world? This game? No, like who inherits the earth? Luigi's or foxes? Who inherits the earth? Foxes will burn themselves out and the Luigi's will tell stories of the days they were hunted. That sounds right to me. So Luigi's are the small mammals and, and foxes are the large dinosaurs with hands that don't work the way that they should. Yep. Now, just to be clear, it's not about righteousness, right? You know it's dinosaurs really about... predate grass? They didn't overlap with the evolution of grass. So no is grass. it like no dinosaur has ever touched grass is where you're That's saying. right. Yeah, that sounds about right, actually. They they were definitely angry. They were too they were too much on their grind set to ever touch grass, Jack. Very online. They were really online creatures at the end of the day. They loved talking about the Russian Revolution and which faction should have won. Yeah, they're actually very big on the difference between Passadism and uh, just general... Generalism. I don't know, name an anarchist group, I don't really know. So yeah, Luigi has a certain dinosaur-esque energy. 
That reminds me, I have the original Mario movie on DVD, and I will be watching it soon. Is that the one with the with the Goombas in big Italian suits, like their bodybuilders? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's huge. That's a big one. I couldn't get it streaming anywhere. I had to get the DVD. Jab up smash is super good, especially high percents against Luigi because Luigi does hang out there, right? And at a lot of percents, there is Nair that you need to worry about and also Dare. But if you can get at those percents where you can actually just jab and not instantly lose to Nair, you can up smash it or you can up smash the Nair or something like that. I think Eddie Mexico's approach here is pretty much, I don't know, the best that I can imagine happening, which is kind of almost like Sheik. You create this wall of, of aerials and hope that the Fox runs into you. But ultimately, the Fox can then do a very Sheik-like gameplay, right? Where you kind of wait for your turn to tango, maybe do like a Nair in place that has no chance of hitting. Yeah. And Luigi goes, oh, my time to shine, lands, and then you run in with your with your RPS. Yeah, we're just talking about baiting, aren't we? It's yeah. kind of baiting, uh, but it's 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 more that you get them to stop doing the, the wall. Um, the Yahoos. You're not they don't necessarily need to come in for you to win. You just need them to uh, to mix up the rhythm. I'm starting to appreciate how fun this stage is versus Luigi. Because you can just get grabbed in the middle of the stage and not die. And that's yeah. that's kind of big. Okay, back air's fine there. Could have been enough smash, but I don't know how confident I would be that that would kill. Great move there. That's the chop eh? And that Any super sort of... low up air almost hit too. Like, Steve. Yeah. Crazy. This is very good. It's also funny because I'm like, if Fox is so broken, why doesn't he win the majors? I love that argument. It's very dishonest. Yeah, I agree. I always say, why is if Fox is so broken, why hasn't a solo Fox main ever been number one in the world? Oh, because ever. we rigged the calendar. That's why we won't let we won't let Fox mains win because we make we make them play in the winter. Yeah, it's true. If and it was summer it only, happens. yeah, summer never... only Fox is the best character. That's right. In the summer, <laughs> sun's out, guns out. You know what I'm sun's saying? Sun's out, guns out. Temperature goes below 52 degrees. Fox won't do it. Yeah. All right, Eddie on his last limbs here, unfortunately, for the many Eddie fans. Let's see what Steach can do. Gets the back air, go in check. Eddie makes it back to the stage. Going for some zoning F tilts. This is very, very hard. I mean, you'd need like a random attack just that kill. Ooh. You need hey, something look, like there's that. A start. There's a start, just like that. And then Eddie Mexico has to zero to death and guess everything right and never okay. mess up. Or back throw, or back air. There we go. All right, so Steach advances. Congrats to Steach for making top eight. I don't know if we're going to be seeing any other matches or we're just going to start. Um, always GG's only for Medi, which you do have to love. Oh, don't do this yeah. to me. Oh. I have to feed my family and my kids. There's a Marth and a young Link.